Read by Stephen Hartley. Recorded at Portable Productions. A hybrid by Franz Kafka. I have a strange animal, half kitten, half lamb. It was inherited from my father, but has only developed in my lifetime. Earlier, it was more lamb than kitten, but now it has more or less equal parts of both. It has the head and claws of a cat. It is the size and shape of a lamb. From both, it gets its eyes, for they flash and are mild. Its fur, which is soft and close growing, and its movements, for it both skips and slinks. It curls up on the window sill in the sunshine and purrs. In the fields, it runs about madly, and can hardly be caught. It runs away from cats. And tries to pounce on lambs. On moonlit nights, it likes best to walk along the roof gutters. It cannot meow and loathes rats. It can lurk for hours beside the hen coop, but so far it has never made an attempt to kill. I feed it with sweetened milk, which it loves. It sucks it in for its predator's fangs. Of course, it is a great sight for children. Sunday morning is visiting time. I hold the little creature on my lap, and the children from the whole neighborhood gather round me. They ask the strangest questions, to which there is no answer. I don't bother to answer them either, but I'm happy to show them what I have without further explanation. Sometimes the children bring cats with them, and once even brought two lambs along. But against all their hopes, no recognition scenes took place. The animals looked calmly at each other, with their animal eyes, and each obviously accepted the other's existence as a god-given fact. On my lap, the creature has no fear, nor does it feel the urge to hunt. It feels happiest when it snuggles up to me. Its loyalty is to the family that has brought it up. I dare say this is not any exceptional kind of loyalty, but just the true instinct of an animal that has countless fellow creatures on Earth, perhaps not one close blood relative, and so the protection it has found with us is sacred to it. Sometimes I have to laugh when it prowls round me, walks between my legs, and will not be parted from me. Not content that it is a cat and a lamb, it almost wants to be a dog as well. I seriously believe something of the sort. It has the restlessness of both creatures in itself, that of the cat and that of the lamb, however different they are. Perhaps the butcher's knife would be a release for the creature, but since it is part of my inheritance, I must deny it that.